Hey people, how are you? Happy Sunday. I hope that your Sunday brings everything that you ever wanted and more because you deserve it. And um, there we go, there we go. Now I'm with you, now I'm with you. Hello everyone. I've changed a few things. Maybe you noticed some things look different. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm going to try a different English and chill vibe today. A bit more English, a bit more chill. So hello everyone. Hello Carolina. Nice to see you. A uh, lollipop fan. How you doing? Isaiah. My name is Isaiah and I'm from India. Hello Isaiah from India. How are you doing? Alexandra. Hey buddy. Helena. Hello. Ooh, with three O's. Um, Atsuko. Welcome back. It's always nice to see you Atsuko. Um, Elsbieta. Hello from Poland. Hello in Poland. Uh, you guys had a shit week. I'm really sorry about that. And um, I hope that everyone keeps fighting and we get through it. Um, get rid of the idiots and power, right? Um, also, fuck, Turkey. My friggin' heart goes out to you guys in Turkey and Izmir. It's heartbreaking. It's It's been a heartbreaking year, let's be honest. But um we're almost done we're almost done with this horrible year hopefully next year brings some better things i hope so anyway um Abd abdilha says can i ask a question please technically that is a question but yes you can ask ask any question you want here on english and chill my name is ali i'm your english teacher you can ask any question you want there are no stupid questions only stupid people I kid, I'm joking. You can ask any question you want, I'll answer it right here. So, as you can see, we've got pronunciation uh, requests up there, we've got topics over there. Any topic that you want to see me teach, sorry, topics are over there. Any topics you want me to teach, I'll write them here so I can remember, and we're gonna have a great time. So, uh, Oksana wants the pronunciation of. <laughs> this is going to be fun to see if this actually works. Okay, so. Did that work? No, it didn't. Brilliant. There we go. This one. Clothes. Clothes. Now, you have options here, Oksana. The regular way? Clothes. Clothes. So you can pronounce the th sound, right? Th clothes. Lollipop fan, thanks for the super chat, buddy. One more hello from Russia. Wish you an amazing Sunday. Be happy. You be happy too, Lollipop fan. Thank you for the super chat. Um, you can't see it behind me, but there's a little light that blinks in my room when someone sends a super chat. So thanks for that. Um, yeah, so this one. You can pronounce the TH. Clothes. Clothes. Oh. <laughs> you can't see color on this. Brilliant. I see blue. Kind of see blue. Not really. Okay. Clothes. Clothes. So yes, there's that option with a v. But I'll be honest. I'll be completely honest with you. We don't often do that. We just say the same as this. Clothes. Clothes. If I'm talking to you, oh, you're wearing nice clothes. You wear nice clothes. It sounds the same. I say the th, I say this so quickly and lazily that it basically sounds the same as this. So go for the easy option. The easy option is always best, right? Just go for easy option. So I did see that Lavinia, welcome back Lavinia. It's always lovely to see you. Um, Lavinia, Lavinia asked for... That's gone behind the thing. That's annoying. Oops. This word, indeed. So, we'll have a look at that one. Ask your requests in the comments. I'll try and get to as many as possible. Um, Atsuko said, it works out, actually. Nobody will point out when I say close instead of close. Atsuko, that's a really good point because... 
essentially we are saying close. It's the same thing. Don't worry about it. Um, Pantera, great band, by the way. Uh, Pantera said you turn this live stream on while you're doing your chores. <laughs> nice. It's always good to do other things. Anything to distract from housework. Anything to distract. Alexi, hey, buddy. Hello, Ali. I have a silly question. There are no silly questions. Don't worry. Don't worry. Do you give English lessons using Skype? Anyway, you're awesome. Thanks. Um, at the moment, no. But possibly in the new year. YouTube and I have a lot of projects that keep me too busy for that. So at the moment, no, but you know, uh, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> we knew they were going to come. Okay. So we say hello to our members because, um, you guys are the family of this channel. Mammy Mima. Hello. Rod, the Brazilian English teacher. Nice to see you again. Uh, Atsuko as always, or a legend. Uh, Lavinia, of course. Um, I saw there's like a load of new members. Alexi, how you doing? Lolly Lolly. Always nice to have you back, buddy. It's always nice to see people that I see again and again. I feel like I get to know you more. It's really nice. Mauricio Zarate. Hey, from Brighton. You're in Brighton? Wow. Holy crap. T-Tiger. Hey, T-Tiger. How you doing? Um, thank you for the super sticker, T-Tiger. You're an absolute legend. How's being a legend working out for you? I'll tell you how. It means you're cool. You're super, super cool. Thank you. Um, Camilla is watching from Chile. Hey, in Chile. You know what I drank the other day, Camilla? I drank pisco. One of I live with two housemates. One of them is from Chile, and he had a bottle of pisco. It was so good. I had it with um, cherry Pepsi. Really, really good. Really good. Like pisco, cherry Pepsi. If you're from Chile, trust me. Try it. I know I'm probably destroying a tradition here, but it tastes good. Any food or drink that tastes good, I'm a fan. PK Creations from India. Hey, man. How you doing? Okay. Um, Sorel Suarez, difference between shall and could. We did that a couple of weeks ago. Check two English and chills back, and you'll find that I answer that question. Okay. Lolly, lolly. Hey. Hey. And thank you. Alejandra is watching from Colombia. Hola, parcera. Como estas? No, wait. I can do a better one. Como estas? Soy paisa. No, wait. I can do a better one. Wait. Hola, mamita. Como esta? I, when I was in Colombia, I tried to learn, like, the different styles of speaker. It's brilliant. It's so much fun. Hey, new loggers. New loggers. You're always here, man. This is, it's really nice to see familiar faces. It's really, really nice. It's so cool. Um, Vivian. Hey, Vivian. How you doing? Kindly pronounce... So, first, kindly finishes with a Y, not an E. Kindly pronounce intuition, intuitive. Okay, sure. Let me just write the one. Okay, first one, intuition. So the stress comes here. Intuition, intuition. Uh, this sounds like a ch, ch, intu, intuition, intuition, intuition. Uh, some people might say intuition. I don't, but that's your choice. Intu intuition, intuition. Trust your intuition. Yeah, some people pronounce it more like a T. I don't. Intuition. It's easier. 
And again, if I teach you pronunciation, all of it is correct. They're all just different styles, you know, so. Um, this one, the same again, in chu, intuitive, but the stress is here. It's under chu, intuitive, intuition, intuitive. Be careful of the stress position. Okay, Vivian Oge, I hope that answers your question. Israel Andrade, where are you from, Ellie? I'm from London. Um, <laughs> you know, I was trying to find a webcam to put behind me. There are like London webcams that you can put as like a background. And I was thinking, where would be good? Where do you think? I found one that's Abbey Road. What do you think about that, Israel Andrade? Do you, do you think Abbey Road would be a good idea? I don't know. Gabriel Wood, how you doing, buddy? Uh, Anyang Haseo, ah, I could read that one. Nice, awesome. Hey, buddy. You're learning Korean too. Yeah, it's so hard learning Korean. I've been trying for um, like a month, maybe two months now. And I'm getting the main verbs, but it's very difficult. Hi, pronunciation of want and won't. Okay. You know what? Let me see if I can. Smaller. Put that here. Well, you can't really see it much if I do that. Hey? Let's put it there. Yeah, it's probably fine. And then, what was it? Want. And then, won't. Okay. Oh, this one. The phonetics. Wait, which way around is it? Is it that way? Or is it that way? No, it's not that way. It's that way. This one is the oh sound. Nice straight O. Oh, oh, oh. Want. 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 So your lips don't move for this one, okay? Oh, want, want. But this, your lips will change shape. Oh. See, uh, oh, 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 oh. I think it's this. Uh, ooh. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. So say that with me. Whoa. Whoa. You see how my mouth goes like that? Copy it. Whoa. Won't. Won't. Want. Won't. That's the only difference. This and this. Right? Cool. Hi from Peru. The Pisco is from Peru. D uh, Renzo Delgado. Isn't it like all of the Latin countries have their own Pisco? Or no, I don't know. I don't know. I'm from England. We don't have anything fun. Jen, greetings from Uruguay. Two years until I get my degree. What are you studying, Jen? Um, That's also very, very cool. That's not too long. And also, if you have to wait two years for anything, these are some good years to make boring because <laughs> you're not missing anything you know what i mean like everyone who is in university anyone who is studying this is a good time to do that because in one year in two years you're, you're going to come out of it and everything's going to be cool so don't worry about it azel serrano your body language is amazing this is my first time in your life azel Thanks for coming. Thanks for joining. Um, my body language? Have I been doing anything? I don't know. Uh, okay. Matthias. Once. Uh, let me do. Right here, I think. Matthias. What's the difference in pronunciation of these two? So... <sighs> Can. Can. Nice and big open mouth. Ah. Ah. Copy me. Ah. Can. Can. This one. Longer sound. Ah. 
car. Let's just get those two sounds first. Ka. Car. A. 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 Can. Can't. That's it. Again, it's just one vowel sound makes all the difference. But that is British English. American English. American English does. Can't. Air. Can't. Can't. Ant. Can. Can't. Can. Can't. British English. Can. Can't. Hope that helps. Okay, so let's get to some topics here, you know? I want to draw some people. I want to draw some things. Oops, let's put that up. I don't know. Look at it. There it is. It's probably fine. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So, topics. What do we want to study today? Okay, um... Oh my god. His hiccups are going to kill me, I swear. Oh, okay. No, we need to do what? Okay, one more pronunciation and that's this. That's a really good one. Who wrote that? Rank. Okay, rank. The only difference is this sound. The f sound. The rest of it is it's identical. It's the same sound, right? So, through, true. So this one, you're gonna have start with a ch 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 sound. Ch true, 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 true. This one, you need to try to make the sound. So again, your te your your tongue. Is going to rest on your bottom teeth. Bring your top teeth down or close your mouth very slowly and breathe out until you get the natural sound, right? So, like this. <laughs> it looks ridiculous, but that's how you find your sound. You just have to find it, then practice it. That's all, right? So once you found it, practice it, practice it, practice it until it becomes normal. Remember, your mouth is a muscle. It's like it's like trying to you know what it is? Learning the f sound, if you don't have it in your language, it's like trying to say how can I write with my other hand? You can't just do it naturally the same way. You have to keep practicing and practicing and build your hand muscles. It's exactly the same thing with the, the whole thing, right? With the mouth. Okie dokie. So Maddie's topic ought to. Okay. Whoops. You know what? I think we can do both of those together. Yeah, I think we can. Okay, so let's maybe do this. Whoops. Uh, hide that. Indeed, an ought to. I hide that one. That's fine too. Okay, so. Um. Not there. There. There we go. Indeed. Ought to. Oh, hello. Kyoko Mogi. Thanks for the super chat. Hey, Alison. Could you teach me how to read formula? For example, how about for... What? <laughs> how to describe space, length, speed. Okie dokie. I'm going to try, Kyoko. I'm going to try. Okay, let me get back to you where are you? Okay. For exactly what you said, you wrote... What did you write? Four... Wow, okay. Four times five... Wait. I didn't study maths. 
at that level. So I'm not really sure how you'd read that. If anyone can help Kyoko, please write in the comments because I'm not sure. Four times... F okay, my stupid brain reads it as four times five divided by two. Oh, that is right. God, I'm stupid. Okay, I'm very slow. <laughs> so, if you think that you have a stupid question to ask, don't feel stupid. Look how long that took me, all right? That is right, isn't it? Four times five is 20, divided by two is 10. Yeah, okay, right, so I would say, <laughs> wow, I'm so stupid. Okay, four, this one, this one is times. That's what we say, we say times. Whoops, or multiplied by this one, or I guess this one, divided by, um, I think over, it's also okay, over. Again, I didn't study maths, so I'm not really totally sure on that. If over is the same as divided by, I think it is though. And then this, commonly we just say is or equals equals so you have options kyoko you could say um the top line that's the normal the casual way right that's what i would say blah 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 times blah 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 over or divided by blah 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 is blah 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 all right but in a i guess in a more formal way in an academic way probably you'd use these. Something multiplied by blah, 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 divided by blah, 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 equals blah, blah, blah. That would be the academic way to say it. All right, so just keep that in mind. That there are two ways that you could do it. The normal way, the academic way. All right. So let me, you know what I'm going to do. Can I get rid of this? Gonna make another this. That's fine. So normal way. Academic way. Oh brilliant. That didn't help at all. Which ruined my head. So I just need to do this then. That's pretty much it. There we go. Okay. Now it's done. Cool. So, Kyoko, I hope that answers your question. For other people, we're doing... Finally, I think, ought to. And indeed. Ah, oh, crikey. That's good, right? That works, I think. Okie dokie. Hey, Lexi, thank you. Um, can you suggest in general technique on how to understand connected speech, especially when people talk fast? Sometimes it's so confusing. Alexi, you're going to be very happy with what I'm going to announce this week. This week, I have something very, very cool coming. Oh, and Lavinia. Thanks, Lavinia. Always paying my rent, pretty much. And supporting me more than anyone else. With your just kindness. Could. Am I writing out the whole thing? Could you explain whining vocabulary? Okay. You asked this earlier. And I was thinking about it. Basically, you mean... You mean reporting verbs related to complaining. That's essentially your question, Lavinia. So I will get to that. Um, tell you what, let's do. 
that. There you go. Whoops, not that. That. Let me get rid of that. For now. Lavinia, I haven't forgotten you. Don't worry. Don't worry, buddy. So, first we're going to do ought to and indeed, because I've been saying it for like an hour. So, hex, hex, hex. Hey, buddy. Hi, Ellie. Hello, everyone. Hello, hex, hex, hex. How's your day going? Okay, um, Anna Clara said, hi, help. Is it okay if, if I say two times one is pronounced two for one? Um... If you're okay, there are many contexts where you could look at that. For example, in a shop where you can buy two things for the price of one. I have seen that. I've definitely seen that, but I don't think it was in um, an English speaking country. I think I saw that in Colombia, actually. Or even, well, I did see that recently. Where did I see that? I can't remember. It's annoying. Anyway. Some places, yes, but for English-speaking countries, you probably wouldn't see that. Okay. Okie dokie. Ought to and indeed. Let's finally, finally get round to this. Um... Okay, someone give me give me an idea of a person or a a character. I'm gonna make a character right now. I'm gonna make one with you. Or if you if your icon thing has a face that I can see, I'm gonna draw you. Just gonna see who has like a nice looking avatar. Joker. I don't know. I don't. I don't want DC Comics to sue me. Harry Styles could be good. James Bo oh, James Bond. In honor of Sean Connery, who died, what yesterday, right? Yeah, maybe James Bond. Ursula, good, good suggestion, mud buddy. Yeah. Okay. Let's do James Bond. Okay. So. Did they choose a new James Bond yet? I feel like they chose one, but I already forgot who it was. Fadil Statham, yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift. Could be. <laughs> Ryan says, draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> um, okay, let's, let's have a look here. Okay. But I'll, okay, I'm going to try to draw Sean Connery, but trust me, this isn't going to work. I'm just going to be so terrible at this. Okay, uh. Wrong thing. Oh, hello. Hello. Hex, hex, hex. Awesome. I finally finished Doom Eternal. I had no time because of my job, and it's the weekend. Doom Eternal? Is that. That's the game, right? It's not movie. I don't know what that is, though um thomas thank you for the super chat buddy um helena thank you thank you very much hi i'm studying english at university i've shown my teacher your video to discuss them she loves them keep up the good work oh <gasps> this makes me so happy when people tell me that they use my videos in class or that like your teacher recommended my videos that makes me so happy like you have no idea I'm just incredibly happy about that. So thanks for letting me know, Helena. That's really cool. You know what's weird? Someone told me, they were like, oh, um, I study phonetics at university. Well, where? Dude, I, I swear it was at the Sorbonne in France. And someone was like, they used my video to teach phonetics. At the Sorbonne in France. That doesn't sound right. Maybe it wasn't the Sorbonne. It was some good university anyway. But I was like, mate, I didn't even go to university and they're using my things to teach at university level. Boop. Boop. Just gonna say, that made me more than happy. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. Okay, so James Bond. What did I need a photo of Thing Midge? What's his face? Sean Connery. Sean Connery Bond. Okay, okay. Now, do we go for Sean Connery in a in a tuxedo? What do you think? Mammy Mima, that's so Bond. I I know, right? That would be so cool. Like if if anyone's French, if anyone can confirm that they were in a phonetics class at Sorbonne, please let me know, because that it made my day. Um, Ali, do you have a video about phonetics? Most of my videos are about phonetics, but not only phonetics. I just I include phonetics into the videos. So have a look, see what you see what you think. Um, Fazan Khan, can you please pronounce often in UK and US English separately? I answered that last week, but very quickly, you can say often, you can say often. There's no British or American difference. Just choose. Do you want to pronounce the T or not? They're both okay. Trust me. Natasha, I confirm. Ellie. I believe you, Natasha. I believe you. You know? Uh, Maxim Becker, French guy, what's the question? French guy, someone told me that they used my video at the Sorbonne to teach phonetics, which made me very happy because I didn't even go to university. Huh. <laughs> it, it was just like, okay, that's cool. Okay, right, so Bond. He, God, he looks so cool. Alrighty, okay. Let's just do this guy then. Oh no. No, that's the rest wrong. It's not him. We're gonna do that. And then this. He's got that kind of square jaw, isn't he? I'm just gonna give him some serious eyebrows because I think he deserves it, don't you? Okay. Okay, this looks nothing like Sean Connery, but... Oops. It, it's like what I would draw Sean Connery as, so... So that wins, you know? He doesn't have that musclier neck, oh my god. Did I just stop already, please? And then this. And then this. And then bow tie. Hiwa, how do you pronounce literally and laterally, please? Okay, literally, you can pronounce like lich, literally, literally, literally. Or you can pronounce it literally, literally. But laterally, well, it's just the difference of the vowel sound. Laterally. You can also say laterally. Laterally. Again, it's a matter of preference. There's no correct way of the two. You just say literally, literally, laterally, laterally. Uh, let's give him a little gun here because he's cool. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think I was going to give him a real gun? I said he was cool. Ooh, ooh, do I have like a little smoky pen? That'd be cool. Organic. What do I have in here? Cotton, that kind of looks right. What does that look like? Oh, yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that's so cool. 
Oh, by the way, I'm drawing on an iPad. This is called Procreate. That's the name of this program. <laughs> so if you wanted to, if you want to have the most fun you can ever have while drawing, get an iPad, Procreate. Go and Procreate. But the app is called Procreate. And it's the most fun you can ever have. Where's my... Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, so we've got Sean, Conner Sean Connery. Uh, there we go. And then this little thing comes down here, doesn't it? Look at him all smart in his suit and his finger gun. Look at him. Look how cool he is. Azale Serrano. I'm from Mexico. I work in a support center for employees in the States. Can I say cheers as thank you? Any useful British words to use on the phone? Um, yeah, cheers is really, really good. Just use cheers, man. It's fine. Jamil, GG. Thanks for the super sticker, buddy. Thanks for supporting the channel. Um, what are they? Are they hippos or are they crocodiles? I don't know, but I like it, you know? Um, yeah, so... Azil, right? Azil from Mexico. You work in a support center. I will remember you. Um, yeah, it's British things to say on the phone. Honestly, in customer service. Oh, my God. By the way, Azil, I'm working on a. Um, OK, we need another character here. I need another. Oh, one of you said Taylor Swift. Let's do Taylor Swift as well. I've forgotten who said Taylor Swift, but. If you suggested Taylor Swift, then thank you. I'm doing this for you. Oh, uh, now, which Taylor Swift look do we go for? Let's go for that. Mm. I don't know. Whatever I draw, it's going to be rubbish, so. No, it's rubbish. Sure. It's going to be so terrible. I'm so sorry in advance. Ah! Ah! You know what? She's just going to have big eyes. Okay, get rid of that. Um, okay, now what is Taylor Swift saying to Sean Connery? Uh, hmm, that's the big question here. <laughs> I like that I actually looked up a picture of Taylor Swift for this, and I just, I didn't even, that looks nothing like her, but let's just say it does, you know. Lavinia, have you seen the name of the, uh, have you seen the film The Name of Rose? Mm -mm, I haven't seen that. Is she wearing glasses? No, she's just got big eyes. Corey Taylor from... St if Taylor Swift married Corey Taylor from Slipknot, you know what her name would be? Think about it. Taylor Taylor. Boom. Boom. This Sean Connery looks like... <laughs> Carolina said, uh, this Sean Connery looks like an over... after overdosed on caffeine. Okay, okay, yeah. You know what? I'm up for that. Let's do that. Carolina? What's your name? Carolina Sierochuk? I'm not sure how to pronounce your last name. I'm sorry. But let's go with that. I like that. So he's had too much caffeine. Whoops, no, that's not enough caffeine. There we go. He said too much caffeine. And Taylor Swift is worried for her friend Sean Connery, right? So she will say to him, um, you ought to. You know, what? I think we can we can do better. We can do better than this. Let's do this one. Yes. 
this one. Whoops, that's too much. Does that work? I like that. Okay, what? <laughs> Which colors actually show up here? This is annoying. Okay, kind of. This kind of works. I like that. You ought to. Let's go back to our thing. Yeah, okay, we're good. Now we're good now. <sighs> you ought to turn your finger off. <laughs> nice, Mammy Mimo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ought to... Whoops, not that one. You ought to drink less coffee. That's what she's going to say, right? You ought to drink less coffee. What does that mean? Well, when someone says ought to, it's just the same as saying... Should. Pretty much it. Should. You really ought to drink less coffee. Um, you really should drink less coffee. It's exactly the same. So don't worry. There's no hidden difference. It's the same thing. But ought to, that's less common. So let me write that one. <clears throat> it's less common, but it means the same as should. So, it's less common. Also, American English. American English doesn't use this as much as British English, I think. I may be wrong. Yeah, I think so. Um, hmm. How often do you use ought to? Who's hit that? Toru Ishii. How often do you use ought to? Okay, let me think. Real talk. When was the last time I used ought to? I, there you go. That, that is your answer. That's your answer. I can't remember the last time I used ought to. So, the reason that ought to, um, the reason I would use ought to is if I want to be a bit more formal or stronger. Because it's less common, because it's not commonly used, I'll use this as a different word to add some strength, add some emphasis to this, right? So, ooh, you ought, you ought to leave. You ought to leave. <laughs> you ought to drink less coffee so just know it's less common therefore stronger it's if someone said to me oh you really ought to drink less coffee it, it's it hits different than should because it's not a common word so therefore it, it seems a bit stronger who wrote the Alanis Morissette thing. Myra Borsini, you're my new best friend. Yeah, Myra Borsini. You ought, you ought to know Alanis Morissette lyrics. I remember that. <gasps> but she's Canadian, I think. Canadians are more similar to British people than Americans. North Americans. Um, keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, also, keep in mind that Ought to, can, can, be, okay, sure. Which one is this? It is, okay. Ought British English, we don't, 
it's not common to say this in British English because it sounds weird. You ought to go. You ought to go. I mean, yeah, we do, but it's just not as common in Canadian, American English. You ought to... You ought to drink less coffee. You ought to have less caffeine. You ought to... Whatever. Right? So keep that in mind. How can he reply to this? Does he agree or disagree with this? What do you think? Does he agree with the suggestion to drink less coffee? You tell me. Does he agree or disagree? English with KC. I haven't seen you in a while. English with KC. Did you... You either haven't commented in a while or you haven't been on in a while. But you... Yeah, I remember... I remember you. How you doing, buddy? Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Some of you understand where we're going with this. Hey, Pat M. Thanks for the super mood. Lots of you are saying disagree. Hadisha says agree. Gap says he disagrees. Toru Ishii, thanks for answering my question. Thanks for asking it, Toru Ishii. Anna Clara, hey Papa, do you like... Ali, call me Ali. Do you like One Direction? No. I shouldn't buy this. I definitely shouldn't buy this. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What do we think? Okay. Okay. So he's just going to say. Hmm. Like he's thinking. Hmm. Oops. Whoops. 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 We need to go back to the this, 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 this. Yes. Go away. This, this. Indeed. Now, there's a good reason why I wrote that. Yes, it sounds unnatural. And there's a good reason for that. Hmm. Indeed. So, indeed, it just means I agree with you. Like, hmm. Yes. Basically, that's the way we use this. When you say indeed, it's just like saying... Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Okay. So that's basically the difference. But um, it's kind of old fashioned. No one says this in a serious way now, right? So if, if someone said this to you and you're like, oh, indeed, it sounds really old fashioned. Um... So for that reason, I wouldn't suggest saying indeed in any serious conversation because it doesn't sound serious because it sounds really old fashioned. You know? Oh, Jen, you're getting an English teaching degree. Jen, you've, you're the one that's got two years left of your degree, right? Jen, congrats, buddy. Um, welcome to the best profession on earth. If you're a teacher, if you're learning to be a teacher, when I was growing up, I thought like, oh my God, being a teacher would be the most boring thing ever. Couldn't be more wrong. Couldn't be more wrong. If you're a teacher, your day is as fun or as boring as you choose. You choose the day. So... You just, it's up to you to make the day fun and you can do it. So Jen, congratulations and welcome to the best family you could possibly ask for. The teaching family. Um, I'm vibing with this music. 
do I like Linkin Park? Enrique Silva. Of course I link, like Linkin Park. I'm crawling in my skin. I like them so much. English with Casey. Hi, I'm great. I've been busy, but I'm back. Love your Sunday videos and miss the hiccups. <laughs> Thanks, English with Casey. Yeah. Okay. So any questions about either of these? Oh, Ben Somogi says, what's the word? What does period mean when you put it at the end of a sentence? Oh, you know, what? I like this one. This is good. So let's, uh... <laughs> okay, we could include this. We can include this. Um, so just to finish this up, uh, this, 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 boom, boom, boom. Indeed, very old fashioned. So the only reason we use this now is to, to, you know, to joke. If someone says something to me like, oh, um, did you see what that person did? It was very stupid and annoying. And I might be like, hmm, indeed. I'm saying I agree, but in a funny way. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's like you're being sarcastic right okay i'm gonna copy that like that <gasps> oh god get rid of all this and who was it that asked about period So yeah, Jen, you got like, what, two years left of this? Are you doing all your studies online or is it? I noticed some schools are open again. Like I weirdly, I met a teacher who I used to work with on the street in Holborn. And he was telling me his school is open. And I saw English students on the street on a break. I was like, wait, what? Everything's open again? This is crazy. So, but you're studying to be a teacher. So are you doing it online or is it, um, is it actually in person? That'd be, that'd be mad. Uh, hex, 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 ought to, ought, or, or, mm, or, ah, you can choose. So hex, 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 your question is about the glottal T. You can choose ought to, ought to, both are fine. Glottal T, not glottal T. Okay. Uh, Ursula, just to finish the ought to thing, Ursula says, instead of ought to, should, I would use you'd better, right or wrong. Ursula, of course, that's right. Absolutely, 1000%. Um, you had better. You had better. You should. You ought to. They all basically mean the same thing. It's really, really good. Yeah, well done. Good job, Ursula. I don't know if you can hear, like, my sounds. It's really annoying. Duk Min says, more wrong or wronger? <laughs> I would say wronger, just to be funny. Um, it's fun. Here's the thing. If you're not in an English exam, it's fun to be creative with English. Well, in an exam too, but if I'm with friends, I will often say, like, the wrong thing to be funny right um for for example oh your answer was wronger than mine traditionally it's not correct grammar but traditional grammar is like uh dying so don't worry just be creative and have fun with it don't worry about the small details if someone corrects a small stupid mistake punch them in the face i'm kidding don't but stop being friends with them oh talia gola tango ali you ought to eat something great sentence and i will <laughs> i actually have something waiting for me i have an oat muffin it's a banana chocolate chip oat muffin and when this ends i'm gonna eat it it's 
it was powder and you add water to it you put it in the microwave and it becomes a little muffin it's just like a cup muffin it tastes really good though okay so period let's have a quick look at this word this one you'll see this a lot in memes um in tiktoks on instagram you'll see this word a lot that's a bit small let's do that there Um, let's say that Sean Connery says, I, oh, I am, not I was, I don't, I'm not ready to use him in the past tense yet. I'm the best Bond. Period. So, when you say period, uh, <laughs> the literal meaning is this. It's a punctuation mark, right? So, in British English, we say full stop. And actually, actually, we use them the same way. This isn't new. Um, we've used this for a long time. So, when you want to emphasize your point, all right? Um, whoops, there we are. When you want to say what I said, that's it. I have nothing else to say about this, all right? You want to say, not this, this is the best. I'm not going to debate you. I'm not going to argue. I'm, what I said, I said it. No more. For that reason, he says, da, da, Go away. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the best Bond. Period. Why period? Because you're saying that's the end of the sentence. That's the end. Nothing more. That's the end. I'm the best. Stop. British English, we say full stop. However... American English is coming over to British English. So, yeah, we also could say period. You can choose, basically. If you're learning English as a second language, you can choose American English or British English or both. It doesn't matter, right? You can choose and you're always correct. So... Um, yes, the same connotation in Spanish. Brian, how do you say that in Spanish? I don't know this word in Spanish. What is it in Spanish? Who said that? Brian? Brian? Brian. Brian? How do you say that in Spanish? Um, yeah, let me know. Uh, Lavinia loves American English. Cool. Yeah, and you can, you can choose. Alexi, Ali is the best English teacher. Period. Right, so... Do you hear how I'm saying that? Period. This is the best. Period. I'm making it strong. Period. I'm finishing the conversation. British English. I'm the best Bond. Full stop. Again, the same thing. You're saying this is the end of the discussion. This is not a discussion. What I said, that is the truth. You can't convince me of anything else. Um, that's how you use it. But, but, but some people, you will see this on, uh, Instagram and everything. I see this in memes a lot. Claudio says, Pun punto, punto seguido. Ah, okay, punto. Of course. Da, da, da. You will see this on Twitter, uh, Instagram. It's become more of an emphatic thing to put a T at the end of it. Period. You still pronounce it the same. I assume. I've only seen this written. But sometimes you see it with a T, sometimes without the T. I mean, you can't say that internet English is wrong. You, you can't say that. I mean, you can, but 
you'd be wrong. So don't worry. You know what I want to do? I want to save these. I want to see... Uh, I'm going to try and make sure that I can save these on my website and maybe add some audio so you can download these English and Chills like a like a file after each one. Um, I don't know. If any of you are good at, like, web design or whatever, if you could give me a hand, that'd be great. But, yeah, I want to make this into a like a file for you guys to just download after each of these. So I'm going to work on that this week. Um, if I figure it out today, I'll do it today. It'll be on my website, papateachme.com. Um, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Also, tomorrow, huge announcement tomorrow. Uh, if no, no one knows what the announcement is, but I'm very, very excited. Um, the announcement is something free, huge, and the best thing ever. So tell your friends to keep an eye on my Instagram, at Papa Teach Me, on this channel. Just keep an eye on everything, because you're going to really like it. Um, anything that's free gets me excited. Okay. Uh, oh, sh is it seriously two already? Holy crap. Okay. Walid says, don't you also say... Point blank? No, that's different. Point blank is more like saying something happened directly or face to face. So, for example, um, let's say point blank, point blank. Great movie, by the way. If you've seen Gross Point Blank, John Cusack movie, that's a great one. So let's just do quickly down here. Point blank. That means something different. Point blank. Uh, just to avoid confusion. There we are. She is shocked. She's very shocked. Why is that? Hello. 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 What just happened there? You, Tamri. Thanks for the super sticker, you, Tamri. You're very, very cool. When is the new Bond movie coming out anyway? Yeah. It was supposed to come out like earlier this year, but. Um. Let's say First of all, let me preface this by saying I'm sure this isn't true <laughs> I'm absolutely sure this isn't true But let's just say For the sake of this lesson Uh that Sean Connery hates Daniel Craig. I'm sure I'm sure he loved him. I mean, who doesn't? Daniel Craig's a great Bond. I really like Daniel Craig as Bond. I'll be sad to see him go. But I'm excited to see who's next. Um, can you say when tomorrow? I'm not sure exactly when, but it'll be... Well, England time, early. Your time, I'm not sure. Depends where, where you're watching from. Okay. Um, so, why do we use point blank? This is a great question. And thank you for asking it. When you say point blank, you're saying... He told me directly, face to face. There was no politeness. You're being very direct. You're not being polite. You're not, you know, if you have something to say, you're not doing this. You're just being like, 
I hate you. You're being direct. That's the meaning. I hate you. He point blank told me that he hates me. So when you say he, he told me, that's normal. He point blank told me. He directly told me. Without politeness, uh, without beating around the bush, without uh, changing the conversation, he directly told me. Okay? Straightforward. Thank you. That's the word I'm looking for. Fadil Gifari. Welcome to the family. And thank you because, yes. Do I have enough? I do. Straight. Forward. Thank you, Fadil. What a legend you are. Yes. Uh, point blank is before the verb. Natasha. Yes. Point blank is always. No, it's not always. Usually before the verb. You have an option. He told me point blank that he hates Daniel Craig. He point blank told me that he hates Daniel Craig. You have an option. You can choose before the verb. Um, or just after that object, you could put it here. He told me point blank that he hates Daniel Craig. Oh, did he tell you that he hates you? Yeah, point blank. You don't even need a verb. So you have options there. <laughs> hex, hex, hex. Russians speak point blank. Russians will point blank tell you that they hate you. Is that true? Is that true? Diego Valley. Is it always used with told? Um, it's usually with reporting verbs. He told, he asked me. She point blank asked me if my dog died. Like, that's quite rude. She point blank asked me. So, yes, it's usually with a reporting verb, a communication verb. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, Ali, do you have a Discord for your subscribers? No, I don't. Again, if anyone can help me set up a Discord, I will take any help that I can get. Um, I really want to set up a Discord again. I had one, but I got rid of it. Um, I might make a new one, though. That'd be cool. That'd be fun. Alrighty. I think we're, that's it. That's us for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, I hope to see you again next week. I'll be back the same time. 1 p.m. London time. Next Sunday. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell your dog. Tell your pigeons that visit outdoors. Tell everyone. And I'll see you next time. What's this? Carolina, he point blank told me that my English is bad. No, Carolina. No. You make good suggestions and I like your English. Your English is brilliant. Don't listen to him. You're amazing. Um, and to everyone else, have a lovely week. Um, I'm sure this week is going to be a crazy one. See you guys later. <laughs>